So this piece is a kind of a few things playing into it. Um, for a start, I would say that I'm really interested in the meaning of language and what happens when it's taken out of context. Um, you know, we're very much shaped by our language and it kind of consolidates our identities. So, for example, injurious language, which is sexist and homophobic, um, has obviously caused a lot of harm. But when you take it out of context, does it still have the same gravitas? Is it still painful? Can it be turned on its head? Can it be appropriated or reclaimed? You know, and as a gay woman, um, I think it can, personally. So every day on my way to the studio, I would pass this graffiti that just said, your mum gay. And at first I sort of scoffed at it, um, but I passed it every single day and it started to make me laugh quite a lot. And I would kind of look forward to it as I approached um, the kind of pedestrian crossing that it's written on really quickly and kind of craply. And uh, I was also intrigued by the author of this kind of slander. You know, who is this? Is this a teenage boy? Is this an old woman? Um, did I do it in the middle of the night? Did I sleepwalk? You know, of course I didn't. But, you know, you start to think about who the person is and you project all of your own ideas onto that. So I just also like the absurdity of kind of reclaiming it and sort of destroying or enhancing or finishing effectively a painting that has taken me the longest to paint ever. It's probably my best painting. I also thought it would just be kind of funny to take eight seconds to completely change my painting. Or as I said, destroy it, enhance it. That's really up to the viewer. Um, I just think it's interesting to look at how words change when they're taken out of context. And of course, vandalism versus highbrow art, oil painting versus graffiti, all of these kind of ideas feed into it. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of put all of these things together and, and see what happens.